Okay, hello. So today is going to be Aquarius. And it's interesting because today is February 2nd when I filmed this and it's one of my dear friend's birthdays who is obviously an Aquarius. And I just, uh, just talked to her to wish her a happy birthday. So this is an honor of all Aquariuses all over the world. You wild and wacky critters. You are so undescribably vast. So, okay, so Aquarius. Aquariuses are the last air sign in the zodiac. Um, they're ruled, they're not ruled, I always say that. They are the element of air and um, they are fixed signs. So in my opinion, Taurus and Aquarius are the most stubborn of all the signs. You would think air would not be stubborn, but my experience is that Aquariuses can be phenomenally stubborn and opinionated. But the difference between the Taurus and the Aquarius is that a Taurus may not ever change their mind if you show them facts. And the Aquarius, if you show them facts, they have the ability to change their mind. Now we'll get to Taurus later because that's not always about Taurus. Tauruses aren't always that way, but out of all the signs, these guys, these guys are stubborn. So the fixed signs, the most stubborn signs in the Zodiac tend to be those fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. So Aquarius, Aquariuses are so, um, so different. They are ruled by Uranus and that is the planet of chaos. And it's not that Aquariuses love chaos so much. They just have no interest in following the made up rules by a bunch of dead people. So they tend to really live life to the beat of their own drum and they listen internally to themselves. Now where that they are challenged, they're super challenged, is with emotions. They are not fond of emotions. Not of them having any and not of you having any. It's like really sticky, yucky, uncomfortable, make it stop, make it stop. But they do have a profound love of humanity. They, they love um, knowing that everybody, they're very altruistic, I think that's the word. They're very, they want to make sure everybody is fed and has money and is taken care of, that no one is left on the streets, no one is left out. Um, that's really important to Aquariuses. So while they have great love of all of us, and it could extend to animals, it could extend to our planet itself. When those other human beings start having attachments towards them or have anger or great sadness, um, that is where their Achilles heel is and that can make them incredibly uncomfortable. Um, what else can I tell you about this strange, strange sign. Um, it's strange for me because I'm, I'm ruled by, I have so much water. I have the element of water in so many of my signs. So I have a lot of connection towards feelings. So uh, the Aquarius is much, much more mental. It's because it's the element of air and it's a fixed sign. The way it wants to deal with its emotions is to think it through. They don't want to feel it, but they are willing to sit down and try to think why they are feeling this way. What it, what led up to them having these, these awful emotions? <laughs> but the problem with that is you must be able to feel your feelings. You can't think your way through feelings. You must allow yourself to feel your feelings. There, there's something that's amazingly healing about allowing that feeling to wash through you. And I'm not talking about acting out or attacking someone else with them or raging or being uh, addicted to um, uh, victimization, being victimized all the time. I, I'm not talking about that. The thing I do love about Aquarius is, is they want to get over that kind of stuff. They want to just be in the present, do what's in front of them. But what can harm them is if they don't deal with their emotions, they can get physically sick. And that's true if someone has an Aquarius moon, 
your moon is where you hold your emotions. So if you have an Aquarius moon, you'll really want to avoid having emotions. And if that's so, then the body, you, the emotions are just vibrations, they're feelings. And if they're not able to be released, be expressed, be acknowledged, then the body holds on to it and it can make you physically sick. So it's really important that you do what you can to allow yourself to have those emotions. I, I just find that the most healing thing that I could possibly say to Aquariuses. Aquariuses also, they're fascinated, sort of like Scorpios, but not emotionally necessarily so, but they're fascinated with how you tick. Like, why do you think the way you do? Why do you have emotions? Why, where did you come from? Like they, I think of them as like master clock makers. Um, and they're well-known inventors because they don't follow society's rules. They don't necessarily buy into the idea of someone else's religions or uh, political, the way political things move. They have... Uh, the ability to fantasize and create something in their mind that feels authentic to them that's different than what's already created. And because they have that ability to think about this and fantasize about it, it can become a reality because everything in this world was made up in someone's mind. Everything, everything around you was just someone's fantasy, even electricity. So someone said, we had, we can do this. We can fly in the air like birds. And everyone said, you're mad. So Aquariuses are, are the spearheads of things like that, of, of, of being able to go past the boundaries of what already is. So I think that's, it's a short one. It's only like seven minutes so far, but I think that's all I've got. Aquariuses baffle me. And, uh, and the world seems fit to throw me every sign that if, if I have prejudice against one sign, which I certainly did in my Taurus stubborn thick-headedness, the world sends me plethoras of those signs. Plethora of those signs. So I have two very dear friends that are Aquarius is now both in their 60s and they are um, they're not only so dear to my heart as friends, they they're such good teachers for me they teach me so much about showing up for humanity one of them was a police officer in the south and um happens to be gay so in fact they're both they both happen to be gay women and they're in their mid 60s late 60s so that might not mean as much now because um that's not as the stigma is not as strong but you have to imagine growing up that way in the 70s and the 80s where it was not accepted and one was a police officer and one was a doctor one in england and one in the south in the states so um yeah and both of them oh god both of them i have tremendous amount of, of love for and tenderness for and they're they're all glue to um, to many groups of different people that would not, not normally mix. They all give great love to so many different kinds of folks. And I'll just say my English one, who's a very proper, she always calls me her weird American friend. She'll be like, you're so well weird. You're well weird, darling. You're well weird. And she loves it because I am totally a Fruit Loop. And so is she, but it's like hidden underneath that properness, you know, the English part. I think that's all I have. So happy birthday to the Aquariuses. I know this will probably be played well past the Aquarius time, but hopefully it'll be played again in February. So happy, happy birthday. Thank you for being pillars for us. Thank you for showing up for us as, um, as community, as, um, as the ability to, to share humanity and kindness and connectedness with all of us. Cause we need that. We need that. We need you. And, um, and I really appreciate you. Okay. All right. That's Aquarius. See you later.